you don't have the documentation, the proper documentation, we're leaving you at the border and you have to figure out how to get back. I've decided that I want to live in a palace. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my Dubai Travel Diaries. I had an amazing sleep last night. I got in really late from the desert tour, if you guys watched that vlog. And um, I went straight to sleep because I knew I had to wake up early today. I woke up around 6.30 to get ready. I am going to Abu Dhabi today and I'm super excited. I'm a little nervous though because the requirements to get into Abu Dhabi were really specific. And I read the guidelines like 500 times to make sure I was fully covered and I'm still a little bit nervous that maybe I missed something along the way. So I, I know I had to get a COVID test um, within 96 hours here in Dubai before entering Abu Dhabi and I got that at the airport so that's a check. Um, I have to have my uh, fully vaccinated um, dosage card and I have that. I freaked out a little bit this morning because I couldn't find it but it was right exactly where I put it in the first place. So they were saying that you need to have this app and you need to have like the green uh, check mark on the app but when I try to fill out the application to utilize the app it just is not working for me so I don't have the green uh, check mark on the app but I have everything that the app is requiring so I'm hoping that they let me get by on that I read on the government side that if you don't have the app all you have to do is present your negative COVID results and your vaccination card and that should be fine so I'm hoping they haven't changed anything in like the last 24 hours and I'm able to to, um, get in because my tour guide is like if you don't have the documentation the proper documentation we're leaving you at the border and you have to figure out how to get back to wherever you're staying because we told you guys multiple times this is what you need so hopefully all goes well and I don't get left at the border but this is the Abaya that I spent way more on than I had intentionally planned but I saw it and it was just so beautiful and I had to have it so yeah this is it I think I'm gonna bring um, another scarf too just to like wrap around my head and then put this on top because I feel like there's a lot of my neck exposed and I don't really know if um, that's appropriate. I've seen pictures of what other people wear um, at the mosque and some people have had their necks exposed but most people have that covered up too so I think I'm just gonna um, attempt to cover it just so it'll look a little less revealing even though I'm not showing anything. I don't have any cleavage or anything but um, yes this is just a full body outfit check for you guys. I love this. Absolutely love this. It's so luxurious. I had to take an Uber to a nearby hotel for the tour pickup because the tour did not do direct pickups for solo travelers, unfortunately. We had to pick up a few more participants and got to drive through the Palm area. These homes were so big and beautifully crafted, and I learned about how the Emirates provide natives with money to build their homes and establish their livelihood. Myself and the other tour participants were literally recording everything. With the round pattern of lights, and see the color of the road from here. It's a bit of reddish from here, can you see? So from here, this is the start of Abu Dhabi, beginning, yeah? So from here, we have entered inside the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. The police came on the bus and checked everyone's documents at the Abu Dhabi border, which was quick and easier than I thought. Our first stop was the Formula One racetrack where they host the marina circuit. I'm not familiar with the racing industry, but it was still pretty cool to see up close. Hey guys, so we are at our first stop of the tour. We're at the mall, which includes Ferrari World. You can see it over there. I'm probably not gonna be talking to the camera a lot today because I really just wanna be fully present in the moment, but I'm definitely gonna be taking a lot of behind the scenes videos already. Highly, highly recommend this tour. I'll probably link it in the description below, but our tour guide is so amazing and so informative. I am learning so much about Dubai and Abu Dhabi just from like the first hour of this tour. But yeah, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more and try to get some photos. It's kind of hard again because I am by myself. I do have my tripod and I asked if I could use it, but sometimes I just feel a little bit uncomfortable doing so in like public spaces. I don't wanna be disrespectful or anything. So 
I don't really know how my photos are gonna turn out today, but I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for the best at this point. Wow. Where do you wanna stand? You guys, so this is the Louvre. I'm so obsessed with this architecture. Like, wow. After being exposed to such luxury and seeing these palaces, I've decided that I want to live in a palace. And yeah, I just feel like it seems fitting. We visited the Heritage Village, which had free galleries basically showcasing the history and development of the lives of the Emiratis and how they lived. Then we had the option to dine at a five-star hotel for lunch before heading to the mosque. Are the five important prayers they pray? As for today, they have already done the two prayers, you know, now three more to go for today. When you see the tip of the domes, the tip of the domes and minarets. Before going into the mosque, I had to buy sleeves because my abaya was a bit see-through on the arms. But once we actually got to the mosque, I was in awe. I feel like I failed you guys with my vlogging today. I was just so in the moment and so just completely absorbed in Abu Dhabi that I did not spend a lot of time in the camera, but I showed you guys a lot of behind the scenes, so don't get greedy. Today was absolutely amazing. Abu Dhabi was breathtaking. I learned so much. Our tour guide was literally the best tour guide I've ever had. Shout out to Banu. I will put the link to the tour that I specifically booked um, down below. Highly recommend. Um, I can't say the same about the desert tour. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend the one that I booked, but this Abu Dhabi tour was phenomenal greatly exceeded my expectations. I actually got to meet a few people on the tour. I was the only solo traveler, which is surprising because I figured I would meet other solo travelers here, but I have not yet, but I was the only solo traveler of the group. But thankfully a lot of them, well not a lot of them, but <laughs> a few of them volunteered to take my photos and the tour guide even helped take uh, some of my photos, which was great. I met two women who were visiting from Chile and so I got to practice my Spanish a little bit and they said that I speak uh, pretty well or very well actually um, so yeah it was an amazing experience I actually had dinner reservations tonight at 9 I'm just getting back to my room it's 7 o'clock now so I actually just canceled my reservations because I ate so much in Abu Dhabi that I'm not even hungry and I am honestly exhausted like I have been running non-stop since I landed and I have not given myself a break to rest but I can feel my body just telling me to chill out so I'm gonna call it a night early today I know y'all probably like oh you're so boring you're in Dubai like you need to go out y'all my body is so tired like I'm hitting a wall and I feel myself about to just like collapse so I'm gonna call it a night early tonight I also have a photo shoot in the morning and I don't want to look tired on my face so yeah I'm gonna get some beauty rest I'm really excited for the photo shoot tomorrow of course I'll be bringing you guys along and showing you some behind the scenes uh, the photographer's name is Nicoletta obviously this is my first time shooting with her because this is my first time in Dubai um, and the makeup artist that is coming on board with us is amazing as well so i will catch you guys tomorrow